Greetings and salutations folks. Welcome to another Train Simulator Classic video. Today we're going to take a look at another mod. Uh, this has been out for a few months but it was recently updated I believe yesterday or the day before. And this is by NGC, uh, one of the Train Sim community modders. And uh, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Mana... Mana... Managehela. Managehela. I think it's Monagahila, Monagahila, Monagahila. That one sounds right. Monagahila. That's what it is. You got to say it three times to kind of get it to sink in. Monagahila. Basically, uh, what the word is is a Native American word, which they described the river that runs through uh, western Pennsylvania, which means essentially in an old Native language, uh, sliding riverbanks. I believe because of the deep sides of the river, and they would slide in. So that's where you get. Monagahila from I'm gonna mess it up I, I know I am I even practiced like five minutes before the video and I still messed it up Monagahila 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 anywho this is, this is a mod for the uh, the Clinchfield route you're gonna need the Clinchfield route first and foremost uh, the GP38 this is not the dash 2 which is pretty cool as you can denote by the lack of ditch lights and the marker lights up there which is kind of cool so it's nice to have a, a non uh dash two model if you will uh so you're gonna need that you're gonna need the clinchfield railroad uh you're gonna need the searchlight simulation 16643e enhancement pack which is one of the best damn sounds in the world like my parents must have played this in my crib as i was a a young tyke because there's just something about this sound that just resonates. I don't know. It's it's an amazing freaking noise. Uh, you're also going to need the Searchlight Simulations uh, X Conrail RS3L. You're going to need the Golden Age of Railroad Freeware Boston Main Pack, which you can see on that uh, kind of emerald greenish caboose back yonder there in the middle. And uh, that's it. Now, partially this uh, pack uses LPs also known as Licking Pancakes, uh, GP38 Enhancement Pack, which you can locate along with everything else from the link that I will post down below. Uh, now, as always, first and foremost, in case you don't know about this railroad, as it was a short line and it was joint controlled by oh, Pennsylvania Railroad, New York Central, uh, Baltimore and Ohio, Pittsburgh and Lake Erie, and they eventually ran themselves up until the merger with Conrail uh, in 1993 so they were operational almost a hundred years so about 1900 to 1993 they had five GP 38s numbering 2000 through 2004 I think although I feel like I've seen a 2005 but anyway that would be five they had five of these 2000 2001 2002 2003 2004 yeah that's five uh, and what else is kind of cool about these things is they had these special built and special ordered from EMD to be heavier. So these things were thick. They were extremely heavy. They had uh, thicker, heavier frames for essentially better pulling power, better, you know, grunt, you know, weight down on the axles because this was a predominant coal route uh, short line. And one of the places that you can run these on that we do have in game, which I currently am not in, which you'll probably notice in a moment, uh, is the Norfolk Southern Inline, which runs right alongside the, here we go, Monagahela River. I think it's the Monagahela River, isn't it? Yeah, pretty sure it is. Maybe not. Maybe it is? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, so you can run these there. They totally ran through there. That was like their bread and butter back in the day basically uh, but what you're gonna get out of this pack on the left that is the 1970s variant on the right that is the 1990s variant uh, and the caboose was a PRR style NE-5 caboose but uh, these things look pretty darn good we're just gonna take a look at them here let's we'll start with the uh, the 90 yes of course I've got uh, two 2003s and I think two 2000s in the back just to show you since they uh, changed the paint scheme, 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 uh, livery, paint, paint job over time. 
Anyway, uh, NGC has also done the SD80 Mac, which was a fantastic uh, little enhancement pack, uh, which came with some some cold guns and uh, a couple of different liveries, Norfolk Southern CSX and Conrail Quality, which uh, all look very nice. So, of course, these do look nice. They do look very crispy. The logos look great. They've got some nice weathering. Uh, the M looks very nice and, and pretty wide. It was a unique font. I don't know what the font was. I'm not a I'm not a massive font nerd. I don't know all the fonts. Sorry. Um, the lines look good. It's got a little bit of weathering on the handrails and whatnot. The uh, grab irons, which look very nice, it's, and the white strip down below is weathered as well. I mean, these things ran cold. They were dirty, dirty boys, um, but they look very very nice. I'll just go around the side here. Nice yellow bar, kind of, kind of sets a contrast between the black and white, if you will. But the numbers are correct. You're going to get uh, each one is going to be numbered, so you're going to plop it down, and then you're going to get three cabooses as well with their own numbers uh, to follow. And of course, you got the Managahila. There we go. I think I'm getting the hang of it now uh, on the side there, which looks very nice as well. But these are good-looking engines, and it's uh, it's nice to have Monagahela in the game. I mean, we, we kind of do because uh, Norfolk Southern, you know, and their their infinite wisdom of heritage paints, uh, they made one of these in the, like, the silver Monagahela uh, livery, and it looks okay. It's old, you know, whatever. Uh, but it's, you know, these are, they look and sound and feel and just are much more legit than that thing. I mean, I take GP38 over Jeevo any day of the week, of the month, of the year. But, uh, yeah, this is a 70s model over here, so you'll notice right away, of course, it does not have the stripes, bottom or mid. The icon, the icon, the logo, what the hell did I just say? The icon, <laughs> the logo looks a little different. You can actually see the Monagahela across the the front of the M there, but it's essentially the same M, if I'm not mistaken. And on this, I, f I feel like in, in pictures of these, the M is kind of stretched, uh, or a larger, not stretched so much, but just larger to kind of coincide with the numbers, or maybe the numbers are too large, I'm not really sure, but I feel like this part in photos, uh, photorealistic, whatever you want to call it, um, I think it's a little bit wider, but, you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, over on this one, that one looks a lot more uh, legit from, from what I can remember seeing pictures of these things online, because there's a few of them. Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff out there about these. Uh, they're unique GP38, so nonetheless, but this one looks really good. Of course, you got the Monagahela. I've got to keep saying it so I can remember how the hell to say it. But uh, it's just black. And they probably did it because they were like, hey, these things are going to be dirty as hell. We'll just paint them black. You know, it's like when you have a black car, vehicle, motor vehicle, motor. You know, it's it's hard to tell when it's dirty, you know. So, maybe, maybe it was a thing like that. Here's the uh, NE-5 caboose, Monagahela. There's, ah, uh, what are the numbers? Six, 67, 66, and 73? I think, but these are from the uh, the Great Northerner, aka Golden Age of Railroading, uh, Freeware Boston and Maine pack. Which uh, you know, I would recommend just getting all those packs. You know, you never know what could happen to that site. Stuff always gets taken down. You know, whether it be enhancement packs, freeware, payware, whatever the hell, get it while you can because there's a lot of mods uh, that use uh, his stuff. So I most definitely would do that. And of course, these things sound and feel uh, amazing. Uh, as NGC has given LP credit for the uh, GP38 enhancement pack that he did for the uh, the, the Clinchfield GP38. So these things work. Uh, initially, the Searchlight Simulations enhancement pack did not work for the uh, GP38. Uh, but anywho, and there's a couple more back here, just a couple more uh, numbers to represent. But it's uh, 2000 through 2004, and we'll uh, scooch on over here, and we'll just run it a little bit so we can we can double check and make sure all the sounds are too legit to quit. Listen to that RS3L and all that good stuff, and 
The thing that's cool about this is Monica Gila used GP 38s to haul coal. Coal is heavy. All right, depending upon, of course, you know how many coal gondolas that they're pulling. But uh, these things probably got to work out. These things were like CrossFit dude bros hitting tractor tires with hammers type crap. Like, big time. Big time. All right, let's hop in here. Of course, always, you're going to want to hit the I to uh, set it between start-stop uh, to run. Or isolation, if you will. You'll hear that pop. Let's go to the back one here. Do it again. There we go. Go back thirds. Throw her forward. We'll set our switch down here. Now we are on, for any that may be wondering, we're on the Minerman's beloved New York Division uh, Bergen Line. And parts of the, I mean, we're not that far from Pennsylvania. It's Easter Pennsylvania, to be 100% precise and exact and technical. But there's parts of this route that are, you know, you could run this and it, it looks like Pennsylvania. I mean, you know. Maybe the hardcore Pennsylvanians would be like, nope, probably not. I don't know. I don't know. I just like this route, and I like running stuff like this on it. We're on the uh, Maybrook branch line, just to show you where we're at, just in case you're uh, interested. So there's two branch lines here. This is the, uh, the main route. But it's very scenic and lovely. Let's hop back outside here. So, of course, we got the horn, so it's got uh, and uses the uh, free well. Free, free well. Man. Killing it today with words. Words are fun. Free wear horn. One of the best in the biz right there. That sound, there's nothing else like it. Thank God for searchlight simulations and, of course, modders for making their horns work with other things. Because uh, it just wouldn't be the same without it. Bell as well. Give her a couple nooches. So you can hear they're idling up. We got both of them doing their thing. Go ahead and stretch this coal train out. We got a tiny bit. We got we got a consist kind of set up like we ran around the train because Monica Gila did run cabooses on their trains up until the 90s when it was kind of like, you know, that point where other railroads were like, what are you doing, bro? Why do you have a caboose? You know, that kind of thing. They're still using cabooses, which is kind of cool, you know, because cabooses are cool. Cabees. So we kind of got it set up like that. We got the train stretched out. We'll let off the brakes here. And just watch and listen to these beauties run for a minute. And, of course, the, uh, the flaring works as well, as you can see with the headlights up here. Another couple notches. Oh, yeah. Woo. God almighty, what a racket. We got some slippage. Throw some beach down. Give her another notch. Just to test everything. That's notch seven. Woo! Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Out of the way, bushes. And the Ocho. Look at that. Oh, and that rattling. This this is just heavenly. I love the F out of some GP thirty eight action. I'm a big jeep head. 
and uh, I'll do over you know new age Jeevos, aces all that crap I'll take one of these any day standard cab all day or a day love them so this is great we got some nice new Monagahela you can you can go run Norfolk Southern inline and not use you know old and busted you can use these things and uh, you can make them work you know you can clap them out like those uh, stupid ass trucks you see with their ass dragging the ground sorry if you have one of those destroy it it looks dumb that's got nothing to do with this pack but you know what I mean but uh, yeah just it feels right this pack feels oh so right but uh, anyway just a quickie just wanted to uh, show this off in case as always if some of you weren't aware I'm sorry it's Pennsylvania if some of yins weren't aware I think I did that right uh, but it's it's a lovely pack and uh, props to NGC another great pack like that SD80 Mac pack I'm using both of these they will forever be locked away in my vault of train sim classic things which uh, you know I will take with me everywhere I go. But uh, that's it, guys. Just uh, another pack. Mod pack. Monokila. GP38s. Go get them. Link down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.